My name is Lena Hidalgo, and I'm running for Harris County Judge because I know we can do better. The Harris County Judge is the most important position in the largest county in Texas. And it's not even a judge, it's the executive position that helps control the budget. The county judge should be focused on making life better for our community, on being proactive. But for the last 10 years, this position has only done too little too late, cleaning up after hurricanes, instead of helping us prepare. We need leadership that will take a stand before the next crisis, before storm surge from hurricane force winds rips through Galveston Bay and up the Houston Ship Channel. I was born in Colombia at the height of the drug war, and I know what it's like to not feel safe. But I didn't think I would feel that way here every time there was a heavy rain. During Harvey, the release of the Attics and Barker Reservoirs meant that even in areas that did not flood from the rain, families were forced to wade through neck-deep water with their children on one hand and their belongings in the other, watching their entire community disappear. And it didn't have to happen. In 2011, the Army Corps of Engineers said Attics and Barker with two of the most dangerous dams in the country, labeling them at risk of catastrophic failure. Government's first responsibility is to keep people safe. After 2011, Harris County government could have alerted us of the danger in our backyard. They could have made sure new neighborhoods weren't being built inside the flood pools or nearby. They could have stepped up and maintained the tributaries around the reservoirs so that there was less pressure on the reservoirs themselves. But they didn't. And it makes you wonder, when the next hurricane comes, Will we be prepared? It's not just about flooding. The Houston Ship Channel is the largest petrochemical complex in the United States. There are thousands of tanks and storage facilities with toxic chemicals along our coast. In 2008, Hurricane Ike hit. Unlike Harvey and the two floods before it, it was not primarily a rain event. Storm surge caused by winds by Hurricane Ike uh, led to $25 billion in damages and hundreds of thousands of gallons in spilled crude oil, even though Ike did not directly hit the bay. Ten years later, we're still unprotected. A direct hit by a hurricane could threaten our economic livelihood. It's true we can't do any of this alone. Keeping our community safe means working with the federal government, working with our neighbors in other counties. But we have to do something. We know what happens if we don't. We need leaders who will do the right thing before it's too late. It took a hurricane, three 500 year floods for the current leadership to prioritize flood control. We can't wait that long to prioritize storm surge protection. When I'm county judge, I will make coastal protection an urgent priority. I will work with the community and with experts in a transparent way to identify the project that protects us and protects our environment. Great ideas are already out there. The Speed Center at Rice University, the Sierra Club, and other groups have put forward serious options that the Army Corps is studying. We will ensure the county takes a formal position, informed by the community, on the plans that protect our community. We will work to partner with surrounding counties and take our plans as far as we possibly can to draw down federal and state funds. Most importantly, I will be transparent and loud about the danger a vulnerable coast represents to everyone in Harris County. I will use our platform as a county larger than 26 states in population to make clear that instead of building a $25 billion wall along the Mexican border, our federal government should be focused on protecting our coastal community and the heart of energy in this country. And I'll make sure that two and a half billion dollars you already voted for to protect Harris County from rainfall is spent in a transparent, equitable, and intelligent way. There will be town halls and meaningful public input, not just right before the election. And in areas outside of flooding, from public transportation to mental health, I will be proactive, not reactive. You can see our plans on my website at lenahidalgo.com. I hope I can count on your vote on November 6th. Together, we will build a better future where everyone is protected.